This video demonstrates positive pressure ventilation using a PPV device and a face mask. The baby is born and a rapid evaluation is performed. This baby is term but has poor tone and does not breathe or cry at birth. The baby arrives at the warmer limp and apneic. Her mouth and nose are suctioned in anticipation of positive pressure ventilation. She's dried, the wet linen is removed, and her head is positioned to open her airway. Despite these initial steps, she remains apneic. PPV begins immediately within the first 60 seconds after birth. During your equipment check, you anticipated the correct size mask and prepared the PPV device for use. The mask should rest on the chin and cover the mouth and nose, but not the eyes. Position the baby's head in sniffing position. A shoulder roll may be helpful to lift the shoulders. Cup the chin in the mask. Bring the mask up and over the mouth and nose. Encircle the rim with your thumb and index finger. Your other fingers are under the bony angle of the jaw. Do not push the mask down on the face. Lift the jaw up toward the mask. Put gentle pressure on the rim of the mask to form a seal and hold the head in sniffing position. Don't rest your hand on the baby's eyes or compress the baby's neck. Now that you've watched a slow demonstration of mask placement, watch in real time. Now you're ready to assess the effectiveness of your PPV. People often get nervous and ventilate too fast, so help each other maintain the correct rate. Breaths are given at a rate of 40 to 60 breaths per minute. Use a waltzing rhythm. Breathe two, three, breathe two, three, breathe two, three, breathe two, three. Start with a positive inspiratory pressure of 20 to 25 centimeters water. Full-term babies may require up to 30 to 40 centimeters water for their first few breaths to inflate the lungs, then need less pressure to maintain chest movement. You should see a gentle rise and fall of the chest, not very deep breaths. If you cannot maintain a good seal, try the two-hand technique. Hold the mask against the face with your thumbs and first fingers. Place the other three fingers of each hand under the bony angle of the jaw and lift the jaw forward. Hold the head in sniffing position. An assistant gives the breath and a third person is needed to monitor heart rate and chest movement. A CO2 detector can help identify if the lungs are inflating. Place a CO2 detector between the mask and the PPV device. The CO2 detector should change to yellow by 8 to 10 breaths indicating ventilation that inflates the lungs. It can be difficult to deliver PEEP with a self-inflating bag. The T-piece resuscitator delivers consistent inspiratory pressure and positive end expiratory pressure, or PEEP. PEEP helps achieve stable lung inflation, removes fluid, and prevents air spaces from collapsing during exhalation. Preterm babies especially benefit from PEEP during assisted ventilation. The suggested initial PEEP setting is 5 cm water. Begin PPV in room air, 21% oxygen. Place a pulse oximeter sensor on the baby's right hand or wrist. After 15 seconds of PPV, do the first heart rate assessment. Your assistant should announce if the heart rate is increasing or not increasing, and if the chest is moving or not moving with ventilation. If the heart rate is increasing, continue PPV. You do not need to do ventilation corrective steps to attain chest movement if the heart rate is increasing. Continue PPV for another 15 seconds and assess the heart rate. If the heart rate is not increasing, but the chest is moving, Continue PPV and assess the heart rate after another 15 seconds of PPV that moves the chest. If the heart rate is not increasing and the chest is not moving, begin Mr. Sopa ventilation corrective steps immediately. 
Move quickly through each Mr. Sopa step until you achieve chest movement with PPV. Then give PPV for 30 seconds. M and R, mask adjustment and head repositioning. These steps come first and often solve the problem. Adjust the mask and reposition the head. Give several breaths and assess chest movement. If the chest still does not move with PPV, perform S and O. Suction the mouth and nose and open the mouth. Again, give several breaths and assess chest movement. If the chest still does not move, do step P. Increase the pressure in increments of 5 to 10 centimeters water until you reach the maximum recommended pressure for a term newborn, which is 40 centimeters water. Attempt PPV again and assess for chest movement. If the chest still does not move, insert an alternative airway using an endotracheal tube or laryngeal mask. Ensure proper positioning of the airway and attempt PPV again. Do 30 seconds of PPV with chest movement. Discontinue PPV when the heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute and the baby is breathing. If the heart rate is still less than 60 beats per minute after PPV, with an alternative airway that moves the chest, start chest compressions. Use pulse oximetry to guide oxygen management. When the baby is breathing and has a heart rate more than 100 beats per minute, but below the target oxygen saturation range, begin with 30% free flow oxygen. Free flow oxygen can be given in four ways by holding the mask of the T-piece resuscitator close to the baby's mouth and nose, by holding the mask of the flow inflating bag close to the mouth and nose. Free flow oxygen cannot be delivered through the mask of a self-inflating bag. However, it may be delivered through the tail of a self-inflating bag. You may also deliver free flow oxygen with oxygen tubing or an oxygen face mask. If a newborn requires CPAP or PPV with a mask for longer than several minutes, insert an orogastric tube to decompress the stomach. Measure the insertion depth while PPV is in progress. Measure from the bridge of the nose to the earlobe and from the earlobe to a point halfway between the xiphoid process and the umbilicus. Note the centimeter mark at that place on the tube. Insert the tube through the mouth and resume ventilation. Attach a syringe and remove the air and gastric contents. Remove the syringe and leave the end of the tube open to provide a vent for air entering the stomach. Tape the tube to the baby's cheek. Reassess PPV to ensure chest movement. These are important points to remember. Ventilation of the lungs is the single most important and most effective step in resuscitation of the newborn. The most important indicator of successful PPV is a rising heart rate. Consider using a cardiac monitor when PPV is required, the baby is not vigorous and the heart rate is difficult to auscultate, and when pulse oximetry does not work. A cardiac monitor is strongly recommended when chest compressions begin. You may not proceed to chest compressions or medication until the newborn has received at least 30 seconds of PPV that moves the chest, preferably through an alternative airway. Use pulse oximetry to guide oxygen concentration and maintain oxygen saturation within target range. PPV may be discontinued when the newborn has a heart rate more than 100 beats per minute and has sustained spontaneous respirations.